Week two, day one, with me, Wombat. We just casted Orange versus Harudra, and we're about to get into Colento versus Bunny Muffin. So Colento again, probably one of the best Hearthstone players there is, and Bunny Muffin's a less known ladder player. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where anybody's got the capability to pull an upset out. Uh, and if you're if you're going to do it against anybody, if you want to make a statement, Colento's your guy. You know what I yeah. mean? I, I, if you can. I don't know if there's a human being who can uh, right now at this very moment because Kalinto's too good. Just took Challenge Stone 2. He's got to be in high spirits. Is he ever in low spirits? I don't think I've ever seen Kalinto not jovial. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. The question is, is he ever in high spirits? Because he's never in low It's like yeah, he's, he's always neutral. Mellow. Yeah, like it's like you feed him lithium on a daily. Maybe he just eats lithium for breakfast for all I know because um, his mood is always, it seems so neutral. And yeah. whenever you see him smile, He's got that most the most awesome smile because you never see yeah. it. It just like it feels like you've just witnessed, um, you know, Colento's natural habitat, which is uh, just the, the the sun rising and your newborn child is being held up like in The Lion King. That's what uh, that smells like. I <laughs> 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 you not know the song. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. So but, uh, <laughs> anyway, to the lineups, Colento brought Warrior Hunter. Um, you know, he, he brought a druid as well, but that got banned. And Bunny Muffins brought Warrior, Druid, Warlock, and Druid was banned. So both players banned each other's Druid, which is interesting because just recently, Druid wasn't something people were worried about too much. Um, but I guess you've got, when you're playing, let's say, your Warlock as Bunny Muffins, Druids do pretty well against them nowadays, uh, unless you're playing some specific variants of Zoo. So maybe he's, he's a bit afraid of that matchup. Yeah, I mean, in the double combo out of the Druids, Swipe, always kind of scary against a warrior as well, uh, if you can get your setups right. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's a good reason that uh, both sides said no druids uh, are coming to this party. Warrior yeah. on both sides, though, so we might see uh, a matchup, mirror matchup there. But uh, right now, Kalinto sitting 1-0. Bunny Muffins, uh, his first game was a loss, and I can't for the life of me remember who he played. But, who did? Uh, Bunny Muffins? Yeah. He, I think he... I don't recall. Might it might have been uh, like Stilo or something. Like that. I think he played against Forsen actually. Yes, he played yeah. against Forsen. I recall that Forsen very casually just didn't care. He just played his cards super quickly um, for whatever <laughs> reason. He, he was just done streaming, gone for the tournament. It was like, look, man, it's dinner and time, well, and just took it like handsomely against uh, Bunny Muffins. So yeah, that was definitely Forsen. I remember that match. And now with Kalento, there's another big name that Bunny Muffins is going to be going up against. No Druids. And as I, as I said, you know, I'm a little surprised by those bands because Druid's best matchups, I, I guess, um, don't really include anything that we're looking at here. I mean, there's a Warlock from Bunny Muffins, and you might just be banning mid-range Druid as a result of being scared of that. But, like, you're okay going up against a Warrior very often with your own Druid. It's kind of, uh, kind of unusual. Galento going to start out with a Knife Juggler, Golem, and Quick Shot. Get some Hounds. And then send it over to Bunny Muffins, who, of course, we get the spectate bug on. So he is he playing Control there. Warrior. Okay, that is why he banned Druid. That is the reason. Everything is now explained. If Bunny Muffins is playing Control Warrior, you don't want to be facing off against Druid, let alone if you're, if you're playing Zoo as your Warlock deck. Definitely not something you want to go up against. So he's going to get that Gromash very early on here. Uh, and, you know, have some, uh, have some options as he moves along. Kalinto's turn now. He's going to get his Juggler out. And send it back over. Yeah, Kalento with the face hunter though, that's not exactly something you want to be facing off against. Control Warrior wins about, you know, 65, 75% win rate against that deck. It's really not that hard for the warrior to pick up a win here. Yeah. But Hunter can take out just about anyone. They can steal games that look lost. Well, that's, I mean, Kalento, he's been, I mean, pretty regularly, just he gives a game over out of kindness because Kalento is one of the kindest people uh, playing the game right now. So he'll just, he'll just hand one over to you to get your sense of your confidence up so that he can crush. He sends it right back but down. But the thing is, he still has to go through a Warlock afterwards. I mean, Face Hunter is Absolutely, pretty good yeah. against Warlock, but if it's Zoo, then that's a bit of a difference, which means I think Bunny Muffin's lineup might have been pretty solid. Yeah, and I mean we've seen uh, yeah a, a pretty decent amount of Kalinto's deck at this point with the with the Mulligan as well. So I mean he really wasn't showing a lot of mid range. So uh, what's he gonna do here? Acolyte uh, of pain out for Bunny Muffins. Kalinto, uh, you know I mean there's not 
really anything terribly exciting to throw down. And Kalinto's taking his time thinking about it. Does he pop the Glaive Zook on and just uh, get to work on that? You want to save that for a little bit later? Obviously, you don't have too very long uh, to get your work done. Like, the important part for Kalento here is to weave in as many hero bars as he can, because you're not winning against Control Warrior if you just play it full minion. End of story. That's just one of the truths about the matchup that I think nobody can really deny at this point. Um, and Bunny Muffin's got, you know, second weapon, that's by it. He's got the cruel task, armor smith if need be, another acolyte of pain. This is just going to be an uphill battle for Kalento at this point. Yeah, I mean, there's... A snake there's... trap, and there's no whirlwind. <laughs> that's going to be a lot of card draw for Bunny Muffins. And one card goes up. Oh man, if yep. he picks up a whirlwind. Just hoping for face. <laughs> Gotta get one face. But uh, yeah, Dr. Boom. I mean, Bunny Muffins, as long as he can make it to the mid game and later part of the game, he's just gonna be in great position. He's got a brawl now in case Kalento does start to get some really hefty board position. Spec bug gonna be. Nope. Okay, it wasn't. It was false alarm. False alarm on that Thankfully. one, yeah. But Kalento did pick up that snake trap, really is going to pay off here. If he's going to be able to beat that warrior, it's going to be because of that snake trap. Because the extra bit of damage he got from it, the two knives were actually really important. And the warrior being on 11 health here is just primordial for him. So Bunny Muffin is going to try to put down the Acolyte and the Armor Smith. Get as much armor as he possibly can out of this. Um, he will have to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, down to 11. Full task, possibly. Cool. Not to overdraw. Gonna pull Alex Straws and throw that in the deck, and there's the cool Taskmaster. He'll send that over in the snake. Yeah, and then uh, the question is, do you pop? I don't think you have to pop it yet, like the the death bite for the extra two armor. Yeah, I I especially considering how aggressive Kalinto's going. I mean, do you want to hold on to it for the other extra round? He's got the coin. Do you want to coin out your hero point. power? Because that way yeah, you can, can play yeah. Emperor Thor's and next turn, and then Alex yourself. Uh, yeah, down to eleven. I'd want, I'd want that little buffer, but you know he's got he's got the coin, so he's going to play a little bit for the longer game. He's going to stick to his oh, guns man. on that one. Here comes the oh. owl, and there goes the extra armor that I think may have been what Bunny Muffins was sort of relying on or hoping uh, would come into play there. Get him a oh, little yeah. bit of extra. He's going to get the hero power in down to ten. Leper Gnome on the field as well, and straight to face for two. Down to eight for Bunny Muffins. So he needs to pick up a Shield Maiden or another Armor yep. Smith here because this amount of damage coming from Kalento is going to be a big problem. He's going to have to at least armor up every turn. I, you know what? That's why I think Coin armoring up last turn might have been just the play he had to do because right now Arcane Golem Quick Shot Hero Power is game. Yeah. And that two off the Leper Gnome there. I mean, it's just, again, that would have soaked into, uh, into the armor. He's got a Hero Power this time for sure. If he at least had popped the weapon last turn for the extra two armor, not even coining it out, right? Coining out the the armor. Just yeah. attacking face and setting up an extra two armor from the AoE, from the armor smith under cruel task, would have been enough to perhaps extend his life at this point. But unfortunately, not the case. And he's going all in, saying, you know, if he's got Unleash with kill commands, I'm dead anyway, so... Might as well see what I can get done in the meantime. Back over to Kalinto, who's going to pull Animal Companion. No, that's game. That, it was already yeah, over. Just, just no help there for bunny muffins whatsoever, right down to the very end. Five wow, and such a, on board. It's One a pretty and lopsided power. matchup. Very lopsided matchup here for the control warrior who should take this most of the time. But I guess Kalento is able to pilot this deck very well and bunny muffins not getting enough armor as early as, he might, as he'd like. So there's going to be 1-0 for Kalento who actually locks a win with the face hunter. I thought that yeah. might be a weak spot, but turns out it's not. And he's got... Uh, a warrior, warrior of his own deck. on the back end. Yeah. I mean, and, and we'll have to wait and see what kind of warrior. But uh, I got to say, what, like, the, he is the RNG touched. You know what I mean? Like, just perfect draws all the way down the line. Great play. And Bunny Muffins, I mean, it was a non start for the kid. It's, it's, it's almost sad to see Kalinto just keeping that momentum rolling from start to finish. And if you're Bunny Muffins, you're just looking at your cards. You're like, I have so many cards. I think they were fine, anything. though. I yeah. think Bunny Muffins could have taken the game had he played, uh, like, two turns slightly differently. Nothing like not nothing major, really. Just, like, a few little um, turns where he could have stacked yeah, a bit more armor. Just, like, minor things that might have given him a tiny bit more survivability to get to those, uh, you know, those fateful late-game cards where he suddenly just takes over the game. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, Kalento got the win, and now Face Hunter... He's got a warrior on the backup. As I said, uh, if it's control warrior, it's going to be a coin flip. If it's patron warrior, again, control warrior in a great spot. 
uh, winning most of the matches against it, just yeah. like wins against Face Hunter. But who knows? Kalinto's Kalinto is the reason for the thirty-five <laughs> in the sixty-five thirty-five split. So we'll see. Uh, We'll see. I mean, Bunny Muffins, he's got some work to do there. Uh, we'll see if he switches it up to Warlock to go up against the Warrior. We'll see. I what don't think so. I think I th if I have a Control Warrior, I am keeping it against it any Warrior. Because um, you beat Patron very often. And at best, your Warlock is going to beat Patron if it's Handlock. Maybe a tiny bit more than your Control Warrior already does it. But it's not. It's just a tiny margin. Well, I'm wrong. Bunny Muffins did go for the Handlock. Um, he yep. couldn't resist. Yeah, couldn't resist that matchup. I mean, and it's about, like, what, 75% win rate for the Warlock? Let's see how this pans out. Uh-oh, Kalento playing the OTK Warrior. This is not Patron. This is not Patron. This is OTK. This oh is Naria. Naria just coming back. And then Alex Straza. So Bunny Muffins is playing Maligos Warlock versus OTK Warrior. I am flabbergasted. I have never seen this in my life. This is a matchup I don't think I've ever seen. So the so the odds are are out the window. I would uh, say that OTK Warrior will take it over Malagos Warlock because Malagos Warlock tend well. Then again, Malagos Warlock tends to beat Patron. Like it, it's a tiny margin, but it does. Uh, it is slightly favor in the matchup. Oh so wow! Muffins gonna get the gang boss out here on three. Kalento has the death bite to answer that, so not a big threat to him. Nonetheless, how do you play this? He's just stacking up basically every single... He's got both his shield slams. Uh, Kalento with plenty of maneuverability here through the early mid-game. Do, do you know this deck, by the way? The deck. I do not. Playing? I don't okay, know. Okay, well, let me run you through this. Yeah, run, run this deck for me. <laughs> it's very simple. Um, you play Raging Worgen with Inner Rage, Inner Rage Rampage with a charge, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You and then win. the game's that's over. That the game's over. So Naria made this popular a, lo a long time ago, um, before Patron Warrior was a thing. This was the only combo warrior deck that was around, um, and it was really fun to watch Naria play. So I'm happy Kalento picked it up. Really happy about that. I just, you know, the guy, he's got range. If you say nothing else about Kalento, even if you hate the guy, you got to say he's got range. Uh, I mean... He, you can't pin him on one specific yeah, deck. There's no it. way. I mean, you'd think, okay, you know, Patron's popular right now. Kalinto's like, whatever. We're 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 going to the bottom of the bag. We're pulling out the old school biz. But he's been playing a bit of it on ladder, so there's a good chance Bunny Muffins knows what's in the deck. Um, Kalento's been playing this deck on ladder quite a bit, and he, you know, he's a very solid player. He can play anything to you know top ten legend basically. Uh, it's just really interesting to look at him play because he substituted the patrons in that deck for the charges and the worgens, and nobody expects that anymore. And take heal bot here for bunny muffins. The heal bot is almost a dead card in the matchup because you're yeah. dead in one turn, but you know, there's always a chance uh, he gets whittled down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the death bite, death bite, the only thing Kalento's put out, Bunny Muffins. I mean, I, you know, he's got to want information at this point, and he's just got nothing to go on. This, the, the, the way Kalento's been playing indicates, you know, probably Patron, because it hasn't played Armorsmith nor Acolyte, but it's not a guaranteed thing. And Kalento's going to get a good clear here on the Emperor Thorsten, but Bunny Muffins getting his cheaper Hellfire, his cheaper Alex Straza, his cheaper Malagos. Pretty much what he's looking for. Yep. We'll see if it buys him a little bit of time here. Is Kalinto pretty much in a good spot to start ramping things up here? Mm. If he slam wants, who knows with Kalinto? Card draw. You could slam card draw and then hero power shield slam without wasting your death bite. Or you could slam and waste your death bite. It all depends on whether or not you really think you're going to need it. Go slam, yeah. execute. Yeah, it allows him to weave in that extra shield block later. Um, if he wants it to get a really huge shield slam, because you know you're going to be up against massive dragons. So Kalento here, you know, keeping his armor up, doesn't want to use the weapon yet. Just waiting on it. And still, I mean, a little bit of information there for Bunny Muffins, but, uh, you know, not the spot he'd like to be in. He's now sitting on both his BGHs. I mean, just an absolutely massive hand full of scary stuff here for Bunny Muffins, but uh, not a lot of places to go with it just yet, because obviously you can't just toss it out there. For fear of the fact that it's going to get sent packing right into the graveyard. Bunny Muffins with double BGH. Unfortunately for him, in this matchup, utterly dead cards. 
Like yeah. he might be expecting Kalento to be playing frothing berserkers and getting an OTK with that, um, but that is not what Kalento is aiming to do here. I mean, his deck doesn't even run. If it's the version I'm thinking about, it doesn't run any of those. Um, it's running loot hoarders for cycle even faster with the combo. Taps an owl. Gonna want to get rid of something here. Nah, uh, I think Imgang boss is probably gonna be that or a heal bot later on. It's not even that bad. Like you just know that you're gonna be feeding Kalento cards at this point. Drops the Drake in the Abusive Surge. Yeah. yeah, there we go. And that's going to be a nice death by trigger for Kalento if he wants it. Uh, I don't think you want it yet. I mean, I guess you could play Raging Warg and Charge, but you still can't give it the um, the Rampage that you want. And, but you also... I, you know what I wouldn't be surprised to see Kalento do here? Not even use the Death Bite and just wait for the trigger on the Raging Worgen. Because he's got some really insane cards. And all he needs is an en enabler for the Enrage effect. Yeah, and obviously he's not hes not in too scary of a spot. But he is going to go ahead and send the Death Bite across. Give everybody a nice little swirly hug, shield block, draw a card, ah, gets himself nice a loot order, armor up, and sends it back over to Bunny Muffins. And Bunny Muffins, now that you see this Loot Hoarder, do you still expect, because some Grim Patron lists have been playing the Loot Hoarder, so do you think yeah. there's, a, there's a snake in the grass, or do you just assume everything's I, going as usual? Yeah, I mean, you've got to be, you've got to be trending towards, I mean, almost, is your brain, especially as much as Bunny Muffins ladders, he was laddering right up until uh, this very game. Uh, indeed, do you, is that that the popularity of Grand Patron? Is it going to pull you that way when you see the loot hoarder? You're going to think this is Kalento. I have bringing to stay a on spin guard. on Grand yeah. Patron, or is it his you know OTK? I think at this point, Bunny Muffins can expand one of the BGHs, no problem at all. Let's get that four two onto the field. Nothing for it to shoot at, but that's okay. It's still seven armor sitting on Kalento on top of the twenty seven health. Uh, Man, the raging the raging of Worgen combo is only missing. The inner rage is because he's already got charge, so that makes it, you know, five attack baseline. And then it takes damage, goes up to six, right? And then you just give it a rampage, goes up to nine, so that's 18 damage right there. You give it another two, that's another four damage. He could find the OTK with the inner rage in the next two turns. This is just going to be insane. Yeah, and I mean, that's, I mean, you gotta think that that cruel taskmaster onto uh, the acolyte is saying, okay, he's looking for card draw, so whatever's going on, he, he doesn't have it yet. Yeah. Uh, so Bunny Muffins has got an opportunity here, you know, to maybe start making a play. That that armor stacking up on Kalinto is gonna get to be a problem though if uh, he doesn't do anything about it. Uh, I mean, Alex Straza was last time around. That's my brain trying to remember what's in the deck at the moment. But yeah, he's got the Alex Straza in hand. But the the thing is, even oh, if you it was, use okay. it, what is yeah, that yeah, really okay. gonna do for you, right? Like you, Alex Straza, the warrior, but he's still sitting on nine armor. Um, so he's going to have to do that much later. And in the meantime, you have to handle the card draw because you know your opponent's looking for combo pieces. Even if he's playing Grim Patron Warrior, he is looking for those cards. He's okay, looking to get a massive fall thing. Or he's missing, yes, yeah, he's missing something. And he's going to just dark bomb that guy off the field. And Lento's got to be pretty happy about that. Finds himself an extra card instead of the Owl. Throw out the Corruptor. Man, this the is such a mind games away. play. I mean... Oh wow! This can, this can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thorson and Kalento with a snap, Thorson. You're not even thinking twice. Shield slams that five four off the board and forces Bunny Muffins to answer a five five, and he doesn't have it yet. No, an I mean, armor up again, up to eleven for Kalento. I mean, it's just a hole that Kalento's digging for Bunny Muffins to hop right into whenever he wants. Oh man, Bunny Muffins here looking for some kind of removal piece. As good as this might it's an be. Owl, yeah. <laughs> The owl's no. nice. The five five's <laughs> still a problem. I mean, the the, the ability of the Thorazin and a warrior like Grim Patron is more worrying than what it does. I wonder if Bunny Muffins will be surprised when he sees the Raging Worgen coming out charging, and I, that is going to be game. Kalento's just going to be taking it right away, um, silencing off that Sludge Belcher, buffing out the Worgen twice, and rampaging it, and that is going to be good game for Bunny Muffins. And there we go. <laughs> Bunny Muffins shaking his head. <laughs> No, it can't anything. happen to me, he thinks. Oh man, this is beautiful. <laughs> I, the last time I've seen this deck was uh, played by Naria, and it was beautiful. Bunny Muffins going down 0-2 to Kalento's Mighty Face Hunter and his OTK Worgen deck. Thank you, Kalento, for bringing this back. Beautiful. I am in absolute love. Kalento with the little smirk at the end, he's like, yes, just as was planned.
Beautiful. I love to see it. Quick to well, not a super quick one there in that last round as Kalinto let Bunny Muffins get just cool a little, little bit of hope. Just that little bit of maybe, maybe I'm gonna make it. No, right. sir. Kalinto 2-0 over Bunny Muffins. There, he's gonna go on to uh, be 2-0 in the tournament overall, and uh, just very entertaining. Always, it's, always a joy to watch Kalinto play. He's at the top of his group at the moment. The next best player, I think, is uh, Forsen with 1-0. Bunny Muffins is 0-2 at the moment, uh, having lost his first game to Forsen. So Kalinto is 2-0. Kuvdon, I believe, is 1-1, having won over Stilo yesterday. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Kuvdon did take the win. So Kuvdon 1-1, Kalinto at the top of his group C, and Bunny Muffins, unfortunately, not looking too good here because with two losses um, and having lost the two top players means you're not likely to get into that last uh, into the playoffs yeah you know, you're gonna have to go runner runner and then hope everybody else just plays their worst you know i mean exactly and with Colento there a tiebreaker because that's where you're still gonna have to play through a tiebreaker uh to push it through in the best of cases right. so we'll see where he lands but right now not in a great spot all right, so guys, this is it for the match. We're going to be back after a short break with a third match. We have five today planned, best of three conquest format with a ban. It's going to be Thoida versus Nairia. And there I was talking about him because he did make that OTK Worgen <laughs> deck popular a long time ago. We're going to see him play. Unfortunately, I don't think he did bring Warrior, so we're not going to see that deck in action again. Um, but if he brings a Rogue, then that's going to be an amazing play since he is a very good Rogue player. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back after the break.